Hello, I'm Chris Swaffer, Product Manager for All Things Notation at Presonus. Studio One 5.2 includes three of our most requested score features. Guitar tablature, drum mapping, and voices. Firstly, let's talk tab. Now when you select a star preset of guitar, you'll be able to see both standard notation and tablature. These two staves are synchronized and you can enter notes on either. If you click the note duration onto the tab, then you can type the fret number you want. Or if you enter on the standard notation staff, then Studio One will select an appropriate low tab position. The same happens if you have recorded in with a MIDI instrument in real time or entered notes in the other editors. If Studio One has not chosen the string you had in mind, then just drag the number to another string. The fret number will update automatically. The other new staff type is tablature only. When this is selected, only a tab staff is shown. And in addition, rhythmic stems are now added to the fret numbers. Of course, not every fretted instrument has the same number of strings, nor share the same tuning. So how do you write for your acts of choice? You can select from a number of different instrument tunings. When you make a change, the number of strings will update in the tablature, and the fret numbers will renumber accordingly. If you see question marks, it's because the note is either too high or too low to be played on a given string. Drag the fret number to another string, or transpose to put the notes into a playable octave. Now, let's move on to drum notation. When using drum libraries, you'll know that the pitches used don't marry up with standard drum notation. To maintain both the playback pitches and view the notation as expected, a mapping between the two is required. Studio One 5.2 introduces a drum map editor, along with a few nifty tools to speed up the process. Let's take a look. So here I have an impact kit, so all the drum names were already populated here. Let's go to the score editor. I'm now going to drag in a sick groove. And pow. Now a few things have happened here automatically. We can see that the staff type has automatically switched drum set, and therefore the percussion clef has been selected. Then in terms of the note mapping, Studio One has taken a best guess, rather than you having to start from scratch. It's first pulled the notes from very low or high octaves and centered them around the visible staff. It then looked for obvious drum names, like snare or hi-hat, and placed them in their standard positions. It's then had a go at the note heads, changing symbols to cross note heads, for example. And as you can see from the stems up and stems down, it has automatically placed the notes into two separate voices. If it's not exactly right, of course you can manually adjust the map quickly and easily with this little preview. Select either the name in the drop down or a single note in the drum staff itself. Then drag the preview up and down to the pitch of your choice. Select the note head and even the drum technique if required. This is then immediately reflected in the staff. When you are entering notes, you have a handy reminder of the drum map in the cursor, and the preview also shows any custom note heads and techniques selected. That's for a Presonus instrument, but what about other libraries? You will need to enter drum pitches, which you can select type or use a MIDI instrument to enter, and the drum names, which you can enter in either the drum editor or in the score editor, it makes no difference. And then you can set your mappings using the preview or drop downs. Once you are done, this drum preset will be saved with a document but you can save it as a new drum preset to quickly recall each time. And lastly, talking of presets, we've of course included a general MIDI drum map, which even if it doesn't exactly match your library, is a great time-saving start, and you could use it as a basis to create a new preset.
one of the most requested features of the score editor was the ability to write in more than one voice in a given staff. And in Studio One 5.2, you can now write in up to four voices per staff. Select the voice required in the drop down menu, and then enter notes as before, either manually with the mouse or in step time. And if you have entered a phrase but now realised you want it in a different voice, you can use the new Centre Voice tool. For more advanced options on stem direction, you can always send over to Studio One's sister notation software, Notion. So that's tablature, drum mapping, and voices for Studio One 5.2. There are also a couple of new tools in doubling notes at a particular interval, as well as being able to quantize note data to the actual printed notation. And there are several under the hood improvements too, most notably in how Studio One automatically groups rests. Thanks for watching. Thank you.